Welcome to Premore Center inside a brand new addition to the Apex Nano Remote Series here. So just a wonderful family-friendly floor plan here, one that I think a lot of grandparents may appreciate as well. So this is going to keep you narrower at seven and a half feet, or sorry, seven feet, my apologies. And it's going to come in at just under 21 feet tip to tail with a dry weight of 3,233 pounds, opening it up to a wide variety of... Uh, SUVs out there as well. So we're going to start up front here. It is standard with a Murphy bed design, so very, very simple to set up. Uh, a little bit more room here during the day uh, when it's set up as just a couch, but very simple and you can still get around. Simply a matter of flipping the edge of the couch here. Down she goes, mattressless back, sheets go on, and very, very simple. And you've got a lot of storage around the bed to keep the bedding during the day. So if you did want to keep it as a couch the majority of the time, Hopefully you're eating outside the majority of the times. So you're not using it much uh, on the inside, maybe for the morning coffee. And uh, hopefully that's about it. But great window here as well in the front. So you've got lots of, again, visibility out there, especially if you're just tucked inside for a bit of a storm. We've got some hanging storage on either side. Again, some nice bulk storage here. We're gonna have USB and 120 volt along the floor. Frameless window design here. So we do have the ability to open these windows. You're gonna get some flow through here, cross, cross flow. So you're gonna have lots of ability to uh, again cool the unit down very quickly here we've got a great little 12 volt fridge as we come in here with a separate freezer and then great storage above lots of storage on the door as well so you'll find that uh, certainly my coach i find that i can store an awful lot of the door so again for a family especially starting out it's going to be a great fit right when we come in the door we do have a outlet here that's great for the kitchen area and then we've got our switch here for one of our exterior lights and then a new addition to the Nano family here. So rather than having outside speakers and having to maintain those and cock those over time, we've gone to a Bluetooth speaker that's rechargeable. So it's got a docking station here. You can then take that out to the table that may be right next to the uh, coach or underneath your awning or take it to that picnic table as well. So you've got some options there. We've got our switch here for the awning. That'll come out a full eight feet. Great new features in all the Nanos this year. We have some drawers here. So it's a customer's request here. Still the same great undermounted kitchen. So you've got full counter space here from one end to the other. You're gonna have a two burner stove, great little stainless sink, still a high rise faucet. And again, the ability to open that window, even leave it open when it's raining here, but lots of storage below for some pots. Additionally, you have some storage here at the end that could be more for the bunks, but you can decide how you wish to use that. And then you've got some great dish storage here up top as well. We are gonna have an AC unit here in the center, but we also have a three speed fan. So this certainly is a, a unit geared to being off grid. So if the plan is not necessarily to be plugged in all the time, certainly ideally go to two batteries, ideally six volts at the very minimum. You're gonna find they work well. And then you've got 200 watts of solar on the roof. And then you can use this as you get into the space in your campsite to basically take that hot air out. So, and then you can leave these windows open. So you're gonna get some great flow through here but be able to suck out that hot air. So on the road, you can easily access the kitchen as well as your fridge, but you can also easily access the bathroom. So you've got a great little two-piece bathroom here that's gonna do everything you need to do. You also have an outside shower on the outside of the coach as well. So again, that could be where you do a lot of the bathing. Easy access to the microwave. You've got a central furnace here that's right in the middle of the coach, same as the AC. You've got, again, some great storage here for the kids. Could be for their bags, toys, things like that. Could also be pantry, so just depending on how you want to use it. And then we've got plugins here, both USB and 120 volt. The bottom bunk here will have a 120 volt outlet as well. You are going to have a window here at the end of the top bunk, and that one is frameless as well, so that can go out. Um, and even when it's raining, they're not going to get uh, any moisture inside. And you've got an emergency exit window here on the bottom that'll again be able to be let out about six inches, so you can just have some airflow there. And then we've got our easy access to our thermostat here. Great thing about these bunks, I think for a lot of, you know, potential grandparents that may like this unit is these can be great storage when maybe grandkids aren't with you. But again, if you're looking for that smaller coach, easy to tow behind an SUV, not ultra wide, giving you everything you really need without going over the top, this coach certainly does that. So it gives you that ability to carry a number of people in a small space with a lot of versatility. I think you're really going to love it here. We think it's going to be one of the hits of the season here. And we'd invite you at the Primo RV Center to come have a much closer look at the brand new to the market and new to us, Coachman Apex Nano Remote 18R.